Yeah. Rastitta Statlilia. I work at the Chestnut Handy Stables. Have you seen our horses wandering around? No? Okay. It's just that they're missing. Goodbye. Annoying creature. How are you? Hello. I'm Brother Joffrey. What do you want? Emperor Uriel? Do you know something about his death? You'd better explain yourself. Now. You brought me the Amulet of Kings? This cannot be. Let me see it. By the Nine, this is the Amulet of Kings. Who are you? How did you get this? What do you know of the Emperor's death? As unlikely as your story sounds, I believe you. Only the strange destiny of Uriel Septim could have brought you to me carrying the Amulet of Kings. The Prince of Destruction he referred to is none other than Merun's Dagon, one of the lords of the demonic world of Oblivion. The Emperor's words, close shut the jaws of Oblivion, certainly suggest that he perceived some threat from Oblivion. But all the scholars agree that the mortal world is protected from the Daedra of Oblivion by magical barriers. I'm not sure. Only the Emperors truly understand the meaning behind the rituals of coronation. The Amulet of Kings is ancient. Saint Alicia herself received it from the gods. It is a holy relic of great power. When an Emperor is crowned, he uses the Amulet to light the dragon fires at the Temple of the One in the Imperial City. With the Emperor dead and no new heir crowned, the dragon fires in the Temple will be dark for the first time in centuries. It may be that the dragonfires protected us from a threat that only the Emperor was aware of. I am one of the few who know of his existence. Many years ago I served as captain of Uriel's bodyguards, the Blades. One night Uriel called me into his private chambers. A baby boy lay sleeping in a basket. 
Uriel told me to deliver him somewhere safe. He never told me anything else about the baby, but I knew it was his son. From time to time he would ask about the child's progress. Now it seems that this illegitimate son is the heir to the Septim throne, if he yet lives. His name is Martin. He serves Akatosh in the chapel in the city of Kvach, south of here. You must go to Kvach and find him at once. If the enemy is aware of his existence, as seems likely, he is in terrible danger. And please, let me know if there's anything you need. My resources here are limited, but I will help in any way I can. Waste no time. You must find Martin before the enemy does. Come on, run while there's still time. The guard still holds the road, but it's only a matter of time before they're overwhelmed. God's blood. You don't know, do you? Deidre overran Kvatch last night. There were glowing portals outside the walls, gates to oblivion itself. There was a huge creature, something out of a nightmare, came right over the walls, blasting fire. They swarmed around it, killing. Go and see for yourself. Kvatch is a smoking ruin. We're all that's left. Do you understand me? Everyone else is dead. It was Savly and Matthias. Some of the other guards helped some of us escape. They cut their way out, right through the city gates. Savly and says... They can hold the road. No, no, I don't believe him. Nothing can stop them. If you'd seen it, you'd know. I'm getting up. I, just, I lie down and close my eyes, but I can't stop thinking about it. I just keep going until I drop. Stand back, civilian. This is no place for you. Get back to the encampment at once. The only thing we can do. We'll try to hold our ground, that's what. I ha You want to help? You're kidding, right? Hmm. If you're serious, maybe I can put you to use. It'll likely mean your death, though. Are you sure? I don't know how to close this gate, but it must be possible, because the enemy closed the ones they opened during the initial attack. You can see the marks on the ground where they were, with the great gate right in the middle. I sent men into the gate to see if they could find a way to shut it. They haven't come back. If you can get in there, find out what happened. The best... It's a brave thing.
thank the Nine. I never thought I'd see another friendly face. The others... Taken. They were taken to the tower. Captain... I'm... The captain is still holding the barricade. I figured I was the last one left alive. All right. I'll try to get out of here.